Okay, this is part five of Civil War, the Civil War Guns N' Roses guitar lesson. Here I'm going to be teaching you two parts, one that goes like, and then the solo. The solo is going to be played two times in the song, but it's based around like this main riff, and it, the riff kind of goes like this. Anyways, so the first... The first part that I'm going to teach you, which also goes first, is the part that goes like this. And that part is played right after the verse. So, in the last video, I taught you how to play the verse, and it kind of goes like, um... That's how it ends. So, after you hit that D chord, you hit the second, or you, know, you hit the zero fret on the uh, D string twice. But you want to palm mute it. So, you hit it two times, palm muted. And then you hit the second fret on the G and B string. So. And then you uh, hit the zero fret on the D string again two times. Palm muted also. So we have. And then you hit the G and B string on the second fret uh, once again. But you don't add as much vibrato. You just go like. So we have. And then you hit the second fret, or not the second fret, the uh, zero fret on the um, D string again, two times, palm muted. So, so far we have. And then you hit the, the fourth fret on the G and B string. So we have with vibrato. And then you hit the zero string or the zero fret on the D string, palm muted again. So, crap. It's the same pattern, so it's like the same thing. You're gonna do it right here the second fret, fourth fret, fifth fret, seventh fret. So, It's the same thing all around except for here on the seventh fret but like it's the same pattern with palm mute hit palm mute hit palm mute switch it's like that but once you get to the seventh fret it changes i'll show you real quick so after you hit it with vibrato once you hit the d string on the zero fret palm you did three times so like that, so three times, and then you hit um you hit the seventh fret on the G and B string again, but then you bring it down to the ninth fret and you hit the ninth fret twice. So so one two three, and then you kind of just slide up after hitting it two times. So we have. that pretty simple I'll do it really slow for you guys oh crap like that and then after you go it instantly switches into the solo the solo is also played in the wall pedal every solo in this song has the wall pedal effect um, but anyways, so it starts off with that riff that I showed you earlier. And so the way you do it is you start off with a second fret on the G string and you bend, like kind of just bend upward. Like that. And then after you bend it, you hit the, um, the zero fret on the high E string. And then the zero fret on the B string. So. Like that. And then you hit the third fret on the B string. But you also bend it. Kinda. So. And then you hit after that. You hit the zero fret on the high and the B string again. So. So. But when you bend it right here. 
you kind of want to do it fast. So, kind of fast right there. So, after that, you um, hit the third fret on the B and high string. But you kind of want to give it some vibrato and kind of bend both strings at the same time a little upwards. So, like this. I think you can hear it. So yeah, after that, you hit the zero on the high and the zero on the B again. So, and then you hit the third fret on the B string while bending it upwards like that. And then you hit the zero fret on the high E and B string again. It's pretty repetitive. But after that, you also hit the zero fret on the G string. So. And then you hit the um, third fret on the B and high A string. And you just give it some, vib some vibrato. So that's the end of the riff. I'm just going to play that riff. That's just, I just taught you that riff. And so I'm not going to teach it anymore when we're using it again. But we're going to use that four times in this solo and four times again in the next time when it's played. But anyways, so yeah, we have that. And then at the end of that, you kind of, um, you hit the D string, the second fret on the D string, and you're going to slide it all the way down to the 12th fret. But you're going to have it palm muted, so you're going to go like a, you're going to slide at the end. But anyways, so we kind of just have to keep it palm muted. But when we reach the 5th fret, we hit it again while it's palm muted. And then the same thing, when we reach the 10th fret, we hit it, we get it palm muted. But when we reach the 12th fret, you're going to strike the 12 on the A string, 12 on the D string, and 12 on the G string. So, and then just slide up. So we kind of go like a... We do that. It's gonna have the wall pedal effect on, so it's not gonna sound as bad, you know. So so far we have kind of like that. I'm pretty sure it's timed a bit differently. I think I might have been playing a little bit fast, but you know you can always just play over the actual song to figure it out if it's wrong what you hear. Anyways, so after you go like a, you do the same riff again. Except it's going to have a different little lake at the end. So this time it's going to be played like this. You can also play it up here. I've seen people do this. But so the way I do it is up here. But basically you go. So that means you strike uh, the third fret on the high E. And then you uh, kind of just. Then you also hit the second fret on the high, so but you hammer on the third fret, you hammer back on, so and then you pull off back to the second fret, so and then after you pull off to the second fret, you also pull off to the zero fret of the high, or without hitting, you just go like so, like that. And you don't, you don't, like, you don't, you don't pick it, so, here. Crap. Like that. So. And then you, uh, after that, you hit the third fret, I mean, of the B string. And you hit the second fret of the G string. And then you go back to the third fret of the B string. And then you kind of wait a bit, and then you hit it two more times, the third fret on the B B. Or the third fret on the B string. So. But you're also going to want to wait. So before you hit the third fret. After the G string. So when you go. You're going to wait. And then you hit it again. So. Like that. I'll play it real slow.
the way you do it up here is uh, you do it on the you start on the eighth fret yeah that's the three five seven eight yeah eight fret and then you just hit the seventh and then you like hit the seven on the G seven on the uh, D like that so it's pretty simple you can do it however you choose they kind of have the same sound but I just like up here so after you do that you just start with the same pattern again so so far we have And then we hit do the same pattern again. But this time we're going to be hitting, uh, we're going to, after this, we're going to kind of slide down like this. So basically after this, we hit the, uh, this fifth fret of the G string with the sixth fret of the uh, uh, B string and that's kind of like the last two notes of a power chord that starts on the uh, D string so yeah we're gonna I don't I guess we'll just call this the end power chord because it's like the two end strings of it so we're just gonna be using that like and we're gonna use slide down the same shape to the uh, we're gonna slide down to the sixth fret and the seventh fret and then we're going to slide it down one more time to the 7th fret and the 8th fret. So, and then we're going to slide it after the 7th fret. We're going to just, we're not going to do one more at time. We're going to go two steps to the 9th uh, fret. So, you like that. Let me get a, like, let me kind of feel it out again. So after here, we go, we strike it on the 12th fret, the same shape still, but then we kind of go back to the 9th fret, and then we uh, slide down, so we slide down to the 15th fret, and we just hit the 15th fret alone, and we kind of slide it to the end. So we have, like that, that's how it goes, we'll play it really slow. So, so far we have and then we play it one more time. But after that, we just kind of, we hit like a the zero on the G and then the three on the B and the three on the high E. We hit all that at the same time. And then we kind of hit the D chord, but without the uh, zero on the D string. So it goes. So I, I messed up. And I know it kind of sounds like you're probably hitting it more than once, like, at the end of it, but that's just the wah pedal effect. So, the whole thing goes like this. And then it goes into the acoustic part, which I will teach in the next video. But yeah, that's the solo. I'm going to end the video right here and then so show the next part in the next video.